you still haven't basically answered the question. It's a specific question. Will this cruise ship pier have an impact on the design or the use of the of the um, the Broadway park over there? If the answer is no, that's fine. Sure. Um, I'm going to bring Dan Wilkins to the uh, microphone here. He was actually here before this commission when the uh, NEVP was looked at by the by the commission. Thank you, John. I'm Dan Wilkins. I'm formerly the executive vice president of the Port of San Diego. I'm now helping them out on a couple of things, including this item. Um, the direct answer to your question is I don't know that it's going to impact it directly, but I believe that there's going to be a different design solution. It's not going to be that oval, but there's going to be the requisite amount of open space. And I don't think that I can answer it any more specifically than that until we meet with your staff. And I, I would ask staff at this point, because you made it very clear that if there was going to be an impact, you did not think it should be considered a de minimis um, amendment. What I was suggesting is if the construction of the cruise ship terminal precludes the ability to construct a okay. public access improvements that are comparable to what is envisioned in the Port Master Plan Amendment, that should be specifically known. If um, I may clarify, that is the intent of my comments, Commissioner Wong. It's just it's not going to be the same geometric shape. That's all. 